stoked to do this uh, TL2 series. Uh, we've got um, what we call the double D, it's a double deep concave, and it runs, the, the, the double concave runs basically nose to tail, and it's deepest uh, between the feet. And the idea behind that is you've got a board that's got a fair bit of bend uh, out on the rail and down the stringer, but we've straightened it out through the individual panels. So the boards go from rail to rail pretty effortlessly. The rail goes in the water very effortlessly because when we dish out the panels, it also takes volume out of the rail. So the board will feel thin uh, in the hand, even though the center thickness is uh, all things being equal, the same as what you might normally ride. The concave generated a tremendous amount of lift and drive through turns. The design of the, of the Double D comes from basically uh, Josh Kerr. Last summer he was riding a board that he had had shaped in Australia and it had a um, Double Deep concave and he had, a, he had a lot of luck, a lot of success with the board so we were talking about it and talking about how we could improve the design and changes we could make. And, uh, I shaped a few, shaped one for uh, Josh and a couple a couple for some of the other team riders, Granger, and they're all pretty stoked. Josh took took his to uh, Europe last year and rolled it, rode it in some of the comps, and uh, so we've been doing R&D on it now for well over six months, and we decided uh, to run with this as a, as a TL2 model. We wanted to, I wanted to do something progressive uh, and really actually kind of go out on a limb uh, with the new construction from Tough Light. Uh, the boards have uh, a lot of great flex characteristics, so I wanted to marry it with uh, pretty advanced design. And uh, although it's, it's fairly new, that um, I felt confident that it was a good direction to go because all the feedback we've been getting was great. And uh, we just really, I just really wanted to kind of, kind of push new, new design with new technology. It's not really geared towards uh, average or small surf groveling, it's a, it's a board, board design for high performance surfing in good waves. With this new generation, the Tough Light 2s, uh, uh, we're getting into sandwich boards that now have excellent flex characteristics, um, perhaps something that some people missed in the first generation of surf techs, but this, this new generation, uh, the TL2s, uh, put together a little bit differently. And uh, I think the, you know, the focus has been on improving, amongst other things, but primarily improving the flex characteristics. So everyone seems to be pretty stoked so far with uh, how these boards are performing.